Do we know what we're doing? What are we doing? What's happening? We got a package. We got a package in the mail. Sounds like a good one. Sounds like beans. Mm -hmm. Through a network of people, we were hooked up with a gentleman who owns a company here locally that's called Unique Lures. Right out of Brewer, Maine, just down the road from us. Uh, this gentleman hand makes all these lures. Um, and through some talking with him, we decided that he was going to send us a couple of his lures and we were going to try them out this open water bass fishing season. We'll try them out on bass, we'll try them out on tow, we'll try them out on brook trout. We're going to pretty much use them in a wide array of different species. So, And they're lures that you can use for a different wide array of species, which is really nice. Yep. Um, they're all handmade, so that's the cool part. Um, but we're excited to get into this. Yeah, we don't know really what's in here. and. Uh... It's going to be cool to, to work with a local guy. All the information from him, we're going to put directly down in the description below. His uh, website, his Facebook page, all that. So if you guys are interested in checking him out and supporting a local business, go over there and check him out because he makes a ton of lures in so many different colors. It's crazy. Open it. Let's get it. Ooh. Oh, graphics. We got some them. graphics. Oh, that is cool, my friends. So we got some, uh, I don't even want to say it's a sticker. I want to say it's more of like a vinyl. Vinyl decal. Like a decal. A couple different ones. So those are pretty cool. A little addition to our tackles. We'll be able to stick those on. Very cool. A little bit of information. Each, he sent us about each. We'll do this too. We'll pretty much just copy and paste this down in the description about each one. Um, each ruler's name. It's description and a little bit about it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's open them up and see what they look like. I like the. Oh yeah. That's there's cool. a lot of detail put into there this, is which is really cool. They're a lot bigger than I expected. Yeah. Um, we've only seen pictures of these, so we haven't really gotten to hold any of them yet. First one, Jordan and I are gonna fight over. Yeah. We love the look of this yeah. lure. This thing looks awesome. We love throwing spinner baits and uh, to have a little hair jig on the end of it mm -hmm. in a very common perchy kind of color. Let you guys see it a little bit better here. Gold back, any muddy water, that gold back is gonna work really good. I and mean, you could even put a trailer on that if you wanted to. Yep. You know, just a small one, nothing big, but yeah. I really like that. We're that gonna be fighting gonna be nice. over that one. That one's called a pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed. We're excited to try this one. Yeah, when I saw this on his website, I was like, ooh, that's a cool design. I like that a lot. Yeah. Next up, we've got something called a white diamond. That one actually looks really good, too. Yeah. I, I'll be honest, this type of uh, lure, these spinning type lures, I don't have a whole lot of experience throwing. Nice thing about them is they work for pretty much anything that swims in the lake. So um, I'm excited to get them out and throw them. They look, they look really good. That white. On the blade, I don't know if the cameras are going to pick it up, but it's got some like flake, some a little bit of sparkle in it. Yeah, it looks really that's good. That's a really, I feel like that's going to mimic a smell really good. Well, not only that, but during the alewife run, yeah. you know, that's going to help out a lot because here in Maine, we have a lot of alewives and pretty recently yeah. that they've been yeah. Coming that into our legs. big of numbers, but um, the bass love them. So, this might do a good number on that. Yeah, and it's it's done good. Like those sparkles aren't just like glued onto the outside of the blade. They're like powder coated almost. Yeah. yeah. Good, super sticky hooks. I mean, they're just sticking to my fingers. <laughs> that little, I like that a lot. That's yeah. a pretty good looking little lure. Next up, we got something called fool's gold. So this is a, a bigger spoon, a little bit of a trailer on it. Red is a really good color for the spring and gold. In the spring, you get a lot of dirty water and gold, I've always had the best luck with gold and dirty water. So that's probably gonna be one of the first lures we use, I would imagine. Early spring. Early spring, throwing it in the muddy water. It's got some like really nice looking tinsel on the end of the hook. That's gonna be a good one. Nice yeah. and flashy. Yeah, that's a good looking lure. A little noise to it. Good size blade. That's the one thing that I, reason I never use these very much is the blades were always so small. So having these that have a, you know, a pretty good size willow leaf style blade, I like that a lot. This one's oh, a little a different. Single hook. Single hook. 
Huh, I haven't seen one like that before. So it's got a little little eye on the spoon. Black blade, good, you know, more of a Carolina or Colorado style blade, I think it's called. So it's gonna thump a little bit harder. So in that darker, dingier water with that neon green, that should work pretty good. I can't say I've ever seen a, a single hook on these very often, but all his hooks, I don't know what if he uses different brands or not, but they're all super, super sticky. Yeah, they are. Yeah, this one's a little, you know, a little more basic, but for dirty water, you got that wider, heavier hitting profile. And so far, the craftsmanship on them looks fantastic. Yeah. You know, really clean, good paint, good colors. You know, all of the all the wire wraps around the edges are really nicely done. Yeah, they don't, don't, nothing looks like it's just done quick and yeah. is going to come loose. That's, that stuff looks like you could catch a good sized fish on it, no problem. Yep. And lastly, a blue-eyed minnow. This one looks sweet. This one does look really sweet. I'm kind of excited about this one a lot too. A pretty different blade design on that too. It's not like a... Yeah, it kind of goes through like a quarter point instead yeah. of a top point. Yeah. I have no idea what kind of action that's going to give you, if it's going to thump harder or not, but... I'm almost wondering if it's going to give like a... Almost like a... Like a chatterbait Like style. a chatterbait almost, yeah. I like the size of the hooks he's using too. There's not... He's not putting great big monster hooks on, on baits that shouldn't have it, and he's not putting ones that are too small either. This one's definitely the, the smallest hook, but it fits the bait size really good. This is going to be a brook trout killer right here, that little blue eye. So again, Steve, unique lures. Thank you very much for sending these out. Jordan and I are going to be fighting over them. them. <laughs> I'm pretty positive about that. But we're excited to get out there and to test them out and to throw them a little bit. Um, again, guys, if you're interested in this company, down below. This is kind of a quick video, but we just wanted to open these up live for you guys and uh, give you our honest feedback. They look, they look really, really good. So yeah. Again, you know, it's not like we have a partnership or he's paying us. It was something where we like to support local business. He enjoys what we're doing. So we just wanted to get a couple from him, see how they do, and then give our honest opinion on them. So yeah. we're pumped. Yeah. Thank you again, Steve. And we will see you guys, hopefully, in some open water soon. See ya.